Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. What's up? My name is Noah. Today, we're go I'm gonna show you guys what school supplies I use that I'm less stressed on finals week. First of all, before we start the video, yes, I have new glasses. I really hope you guys like them. I really love them, and I just got them yesterday. So, fancy. Um... I'm going to show you what school supplies I use that I'm going to be a bit less stressed for the thing and maybe can help you too. So let's get into it. First, we have a planner. What I made sure with my planner is that it's very organized. Let me open it to the page that I want to have it open. And I also made sure that there is kind words and that it motivates me to open it every single day. So the words that it says, I already showed this off one time, and it says, Kind Heart, kind heart Fierce Mind 2020. And it's from January till December. So like you see, it's finals week, a lot of things to do, and I'll show you guys that it's very good to organize everything so what I do is I write down a subject and then write down what I need to study. So for example on Monday I have social studies and I need to review chapter one. And so on for the whole week I plan this through. Same thing, same thing for week number two. I also have for science and then in the end of the week I usually have my exams. Very important to have a planner. Number two is have your notebooks in order. So I only use one notebook. I got this from Walmart or Target. It's made in USA, factory certified. And it's a pen plus gear three subject notebooks and it's a college rule. So people who are tuning in from outside of America, college rule is what you need to have for university and it's 112 sheets so this is college rule and I just organize it very nice so my first chapter for example is social studies um, my second chapter is science and there's always like a divider in between them and the third is math but I did not start with math yet so that's why it's empty so make sure you have it organized. I also started ones that I bought three different notebooks or four different notebooks and I had a notebook for every subject. But it depends on you how you like it. If we're ready with material and studying, make sure that you get your all your study books. So this is mine. It's this thick. I already showed it in my last video. It's a GED Prep 2020 from Kaplan. And make sure you understand what you're studying. And if not, there are very good hacks of how to study. Let's come to the school supplies. Another important thing is, is music. So I usually do not study without music. If it's classical, if it's music with no lyrics, if it's just slow music. So I want to show you the headphones that I use. Um, these are these headphones. These are over here headphones from UBL. And I really, really like them, especially I like that you can like fold them up and they're good. Another one that I use is um, my AirPods that connect to my phone. You're going to see a lot of pink. So, for example, this is pink. The back of my phone is pink. Head and phone is pink. So, I, my computer is pink. You don't see it because I'm filming on my computer right now. But these are really good. They're this small. So, usually what I do, if I need to talk to somebody on the phone, but I need to do other things, I just, for example, I leave my phone on the bed and I can go over there to the kitchen or I can go to the restroom or wherever I need to go and I can still be connected and talk to them. 
If we're ready with colors, I'm going to show you what colors or what, I, what else I need for my setting. So post-its are really good. So I have this long post-its. I have shorter ones. Also, again, in pink and in blue. That's a package that it came with, but I really love these two colors. And then I have even smaller ones for... I have this one. I have one in blue and, of course, one in pink. So they really help me to study and that I can have everything organized. And usually I love to put them up like this. I don't know if you can see it. Oops, it just fell. But I really like to have it like that organized so I can just take whichever post-it I need. Now, how can you study if you don't have pens, pencils, and stuff like that? So I'm going to show you which pens and pencils I use. So first of all, I have this since, I think, junior high. I have um, this pencil case. There's, there are pencils in here, but I have most of them I have out. I have examples of them out, so I'm going to show you. So I have pencil case to just have everything organized, and if you need to go somewhere, just put that in your bag, and it's going to be all together and not all over your bag where you need to find it. So... For highlighters, I have four different highlighters. I have blue, pink, orange, and yellow. Um, these three are the ones that I use the most because this one is a darker one. And sometimes I don't see what I wrote if I put on a dark color. But these are these are from these are Sharpie smart. Smear guard highlighters, and you can get this I think in any convenience store or wherever you are. Another thing that I like is I use these. These are actually my husband bought them, and I like stole them from him. Um, they're the Pre Precise V5 Extra Fin Rolling Ball, so they look like this. And when you open them, they have like a thin point like that. I really love um, working with these. They also don't really smear. And if not, I have to, I work with this just in black. And these are um, Paper Made Enjoy Ink. And they're also like this. Um, another thing that I use is pencils, so I have the big, these are 0 0.5 millimeters, you can push here in the back to make it bigger, and you have um, a rubber in the back to erase. Then the three most important colors, so I use... These are the Crayola Super Tips. These are my three main colors that I use. Purple, light green, and this is like a skin tone or like a very light pink. So like you see here, I have different kinds of um, pens. But these are my three favorite ones and I use them for setting every day. So this one I use for the overhead subject, so science, social studies, and math. So I would highlight that with this. With this, I highlight the subject, so I would write lesson one, I don't know, like planets, and I would highlight that. And these for stuff that are very important that I cannot forget. Same thing like highlighters, but I love these a lot. And that's it um oh I forgot one more thing one more thing is your phone so I study a lot with my phone and make sure that if so what I do a lot of people say oh 
I put mine on noise canceling. I switch my phone off because I have my disease. I cannot switch my phone off. I need to have my location on at all times so my husband can track me and can check if something is okay, if everything is okay. But what I do is I put it aside. So I put it next to me. I don't really use it. But I also use it because I need to Google stuff that I don't know. And make sure that it's always charged. So I have here, I have a charger always next to me on my bed. And yeah, so I have my phone next to me. Um, another important thing is that I forgot is stay hydrated. Always have a, also if you're not going to, you need to drink water no matter what. But also if you don't, if you're exchanging, like for example, right next to me right now, I have my cup of coffee. So I drink my coffee, but I also have my water so I can um, exchange in between them. And yeah, so that's it for my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like my glasses. If you have any ideas of other videos that I can do in the future, please comment down below, DM me, or whatever, and subscribe and like the video. And thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Live long and prosper.